we will start from the admin page um, the basic setting already set up admin password also set up okay so after that as I just uh, change my uh, admin username and password also you can see on the URL that I also changed my uh, gateway IP address um, but by default uh, IP address is 192.168.0.1 but here I just change into the 2 so that's mean my by default IP is uh, 192.168.0.2 as well as you can see here so that's a local IP address we set to get to IP address um, yes here you can see so just home go to home and under the connection setup and then LAN where you can you, you can set up your uh, local IP address but it's not mandatory you can skip this setup but for the knowledge I'm going to show you that what it is and how it's working okay so make sure that its DS server is enabled first and also you can uh, set start IP to end IP so that means all the hosts it IP you will get IP from 10 to 100 just go to connection setup and WAN setup so as you can see this cable is disconnected okay so this is for the internet connection so here you need to plug in your internet cable so as you can see on the left side the yellow box is a for internet connection so I just plug in my internet connection which is uh, provided by your local operating system uh, local operator and this blue wire is uh, direct connected uh, connect to my laptop also you can connect to your PC or somewhere okay so as you can see here so yellow port are for internet and the other port are for computer okay so let's jump to uh, router configuration and now just click configure and make sure it is static ipv4 and just type your uh, internet ip address if you don't know your internet ip address uh, call your local operator uh, or also you can uh, call your isp uh, customer care so so you can know that what is your uh, internet ip address and uh, this is uh, my isp uh, ip address so as you can see i just uh, this is 172.31.4 uh, this is my isp dns server also you can use your global uh, dns server like 8.8.8.8 uh, .8 so here is your internet ip details you can put it as a clone mac address is for security so only this ip will use on this mac okay so if you just uh, enable this option so uh, only this ip will be for this mac address so this this is for uh, for security purpose um, so you can use it if you if you uh, so aware of uh, security so this is just a demo video so i'm not going to enable this and uh, as you can see the uh, green option on the right side is connected right now and uh, this is notification it's a new firmware available okay so let me update the firmware okay there are no notification i don't know what just happened okay by the way uh, now we will see oh uh, okay everything is connected yes so this is for the reconnection okay just let me ping uh, ip so this is for just uh, for make sure that internet is connected okay so 8 8.8 uh, .8 .8 it's pinging that's mean it's internet connected and now uh, open some uh, page like google.com okay now we can access the internet uh, so okay youtube also opening no problem okay now 
get back to the setup so WAN port is done LAN port also done now the Wi-Fi setting so if you click a WPS option you can see that enable WPS WPS mean a uh, um, wireless password setup so this uh, there is two option 2.4 gigahertz and 5.5 gigahertz if you don't know that what is the difference between them so you can uh, google on it that what is the difference and just let me show you how you can set up this uh, channel okay so as you can see the ssid is uh, by default already it's set and also there is a password psk now you can click on update you can enable this setup or you can do that's easiest choice this is not a mandatory that you have to you know enable the 2.4 gigahertz uh, wps well this is not a mandatory but i'm going to enable this option So there is a two method available PVA, PVC and PIN. Okay. Okay, just you can you can you can just keep this setup too. What you need to do just go to Wi-Fi and click on basic setting. So as you can see there's a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz also. So uh, both are the same. I mean both setup are the same, but both frequency are not same. Okay. So keep it in mind and next thing is uh, you can set up a password if you like uh, you can set up a password for a 2.4 gigahertz also you can set up a password for 5 gigahertz uh, in the same way okay so i am saying 2.4 gigahertz if you click password on the psk so you can type your password it's not mandatory that you have to uh, put a number value you can use alphabetic also so i'm not going to change this password uh, as you can see here now this is the wi-fi network i mean this is ssid name so that if you change this uh, if you, you can you can change your wi-fi name so when you search for wi-fi you can okay so word is Wi-Fi network, Wi-Fi network is another interface, okay, another wireless interface, you can see, and, okay, so, okay, that's fine, so, that's it, if you want to change Wi-Fi setting, just go home, Wi-Fi and message setting, here you can change your Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password, that's it, thanks for the watching.